Welcome back to Explain Cat. In this tutorial, we will know about Evaluate. Here are many options in Evaluate Design Study Interference Detection Designs. We will know about Design Study in Advanced Tutorials. And in Interference Detection, we use this tool in Assemblies for checking interference. Today, we will know about a measure tool, measurement. And first of all, we created a part, simple part, I select. Top plane sketch normal I select center rectangle create one rectangle here right click select option smart mention and mention some dimensions I selected 124 mm this side and 70 mm this side right click select option come back from the sketch features extruded boss space feature Extrude it up to 40 mm. Select mid plane. Okay. Now go to evaluate. Here is the option measure. Today we will know what all things about measure tool. You may be notice our cursor shape is like looking like a measurement tool. First of all, we select a point. I select this point. It will show the position from x axis. It is 62 mm away and from y axis is it is 20 mm and from z axis it is 35 mm away okay now first of all we select one point i select this point and this point distance from here to here is 40 mm now i select this point and this point now you are not seeing the distance from here to here. This is 130.29 mm. By clicking here, show XYZ measurement. It will show from here to here. Distance is 130.29 mm. And in from here to here along dy in y axis, it is from here to here 40 mm. And from here to here, this one is 124 mm away from this point to this point. Inches mm by clicking here, you can change the units, use custom settings, and you can change the units degrees to degree minute and other units mm centimeter meters distances for arcs and circles. For that we create a feature here. I select this face sketch normal. Now I create two circles. One circle here and one circle here. Uh, click select option. Select the center point of this circle and center point of this circle and horizon. Make horizontal. Select this circle and this circle. Make equal. From here to here. 80 mm and from here to here 40 mm. Diameter of this circle is 20 mm. Right click select option, come back from the sketch. Features extruded cut. Cut it up to through all. Select OK. Now go to evaluate. Select measure. And now we select here center to center. First of all, we select this face and select normal view. Now, first option is center to center. Select it from this center circle to this circle. The center distance is 80 mm. Select here maximum distance. Sorry. Select here minimum distance. From this circle to this circle, the minimum distance is 60 mm. Next one is maximum distance. From this circle to this circle, maximum distance is 100 mm. Next is custom distance. Custom distance, you can select here center, minimum, max, second, first of, or first circle, it will select center. You can also customize this. The next circle, if you want to select the center to center, you can select center. If you want to second circle, minimum distance. It will select up to this point or maximum distance it will select this point from here you can 
customize the distance according to your requirement. Next is point to point distance. Select it. I select this point and this point. It will be shorter distance 124 mm again. So I select this point and the this point. It will show the distance from here to here 71.24 mm. From here you can check the measurement history. We can also measure the distance from about two different faces. For example, I select my ear. I select XYZ. Now I select this face and click here, anywhere here. Suppose I click here and at this face I click here. It will show a distance from this point to this point. 116.63 mm and about dy about z axis it is 6.87 mm and normal distance from here to here is 40 mm about dy it is also 40 mm and dx 109.34 mm it will also show the area and parameter this was the evaluate tool in solidworks in next video we will know about mass properties thanks for watching please subscribe